Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a whole bunch of things to show you. I have a haul from a bunch of different places. A lot of it I got when I went home for my fall break. When I got to drive around again and go to places I like, like Dollar Tree, in the craft store, in the thrift store. And so that's where these things are from. And also there's a couple f things because it's also my birthday. I'll first start with the odd one out, which is this sticker book. The Antiquarium Biblophilia one. I got it from Target. It has a whole bunch of stickers. Like this is a thick book. So it's the only thing from Target in this haul. But let me show you the insides in case you're considering buying or if you just want to see. Um, the cool thing about this one is it has pages for different letters. It goes through the whole alphabet and then numbers in the back. The numbers, each number only gets one page, whereas like the letters is a full each letter has a full spread and then i also like how it's not just the alphabet you also get pages in between of different cool stickers so you get a large variety i thought that the one with the letters was cool for journaling because like starting a page or like using the numbers for the date yeah also so at my target i didn't get this when i was in town when i went home but i found one when i went home it was like imagine imagine something imaginarian maybe i don't know they had a different one at my Target at home, but I didn't want that one. And I looked up the different ones they had, and I saw this one. And so I really wanted this one. I just had this feeling that they would have it at the Target where I live now. I just had this feeling. And when I went, they had it, and it was the only one that they had. And they didn't have any other of this brand. They didn't have any other of even this type. They just had this single one. And so I knew it was perfect. So I bought it. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's out of the way. That's the only thing from Target. Now we have everywhere else. So I went to Michael's, the dollar store, Joann's, and the thrift store. The first place I went to was Joann's Fabrics. And the reason I really wanted to go was to get some distress sprays. You can just sp spray this on your page to add some color. And I really wanted to play around with these because I've never tried them before. And I had a lot of fun with them. I really want to get some more colors at some point, but it's a quick way to put color down on your page. The only problem is then you have to wait for it to dry. I and mean, it takes a little longer than my watercolors so that's a downside but i still enjoy them and you'll see them in my journal maybe one day i'll use them in a journal with me as well then we have also from joann's i got a sticker pack these are just some glitter letters i thought it would just be good for numbers i can use to put in the date and then also just to start my page with like the day of the week or something. That's typically when I use these, similar to the book. Then the last stuff I got from Joann's was all these papers. This is something I really enjoy using in my journal. And that is papers that you get at the craft store. They're like 79 cents or something. And you can find some really fun prints and designs. I got this one with bugs, I just fold them all in half because they're easier to store um, because they are bigger, which can be a little inconvenient. I got this one with bugs, this sky cloud design, this fun pattern I already used a little bit. These hearts, these are really fun because I can cut them out individually and use them almost like a sticker or like a die cut kind of and this fun flower one so that's all i got from joann's then i went to the thrift store i didn't get much from the thrift store but i got this pouch it's nice because it has a pocket inside i got some ink on it from the distress ink already and I got a little magazine, I like how it's mini, to use cutouts from. You could use this boba. Um, I already used something from it. Um, I like this donut. This is the best page. 
these cute little designs. These cute little, I guess, illustrations. But yeah, magazines are something easy that you can get from the thrift store that are pretty cheap to use in your journal. This one I paid a dollar for. I also like this illustration. So yeah, I thought this had this one had enough for me to use in it, that it was worth it. This is also a cool one. It's the most random magazine, but I looked through all of them because they didn't have that many when I went. So yeah. I went to Michael's. I got two new Mildliner brush pens. These are my favorite type of brush pens, and I got two colors that I didn't already have. I also got, there's another one too, but it's in my journal pouch. I got some glue sticks. These are from Tombow, and it's like, why would you get, like, I guess nicer glue? But I like testing out different products and playing around with things. So I got these and I also got some tape refills for my tape runner, which is somewhere else. I've been enjoying this glue, like it works really well. And my glue had been lifting up a little bit in my journal. And so this one has been doing a better job. These two over here I got for my birthday. My mom gave them to me. This one has cute little stickers. They're actually stickers. Like you rip this off, but then you peel off the back. They're of cats. I don't know where she got these from, but I thought I would just throw them in. And these cute cat post-its. Then lastly, we have Dollar Tree. Last but not least, I grabbed some post-it notes. They're just in these pretty colors. I just needed post-it notes, but I like the colors, so that's a plus. These were a really fun find. They are Zebra Mechanical Colored Pencils. They're the Zebra Zensations. And so at Dollar Tree, they have some some like actual brand name pens and pencils. They just come individually. So all of these came individually and I just picked out some colors that I liked, but they are colored pencils. So the nib is actually pretty thick. I think it's like two millimeters. This is what it looks like. And they just function like normal mechanical pencils, but pretty thick. And yeah, just a fun colored pencil. I got some labels that I can just use at the top of my spread for a title, comes with a bunch of them. Then these are really fun. I'm really happy with this find. I found these stickers I already used, like one of each. I kind of wish that I got more after using them because I really enjoy them, but they have like a texture. It's like, it's as if it was an actual pressed plant. So it has that texture, but it's just a sticker. So yeah, I really enjoy these and I wish I got more. I have no idea if you can see the texture at all. They're just some really cool decorative stickers and I love them. So that's about it for this haul. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'm not in the best mood at the moment and I'm not feeling really great, but I wanted to film a video to get up for you guys and hopefully I'll keep up with posting after that. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.